Hey guys, today I'm gonna make a burger and fries. So let's get toasting. I've got a couple of russet potatoes here I'm gonna use for my fries. I already washed them off, so here's how I cut these. I just go in half like that, turn it this way, go in half again, and then several cuts on each side just like this. So, pretty simple. I'll just finish doing this and we'll get it into the pan. I'm going to use this 10 inch cast iron skillet for this, but if you don't have one, I guess you could use your toaster oven tray as well and that should work fine. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil on them. This is avocado oil, but use any kind of oil that you want. You just kind of keep them from sticking to the pan and also to help the seasoning stick. So this is just a little salt, a little kosher salt, and then some uh, Johnny's seasoned pepper. I use this all the time. Besides pepper, it has sugar, red green bell pepper, garlic, and onion in it. And let's kind of mix this all together. I've got a half a pound of lean ground beef here that I'm going to make my burger patty with, but the fries will take longer to cook than the burger, so I've just put the fries around the, the edge of the pan there, and then I'll have room to put the burger in the center. But I'm going to give these a head start, and then when they look like they're browning up pretty nicely, we'll get the burger in there. Burger will probably take maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and these will probably take about uh, 30 minutes before I add the burger. I set my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll get those in there. And when they look like they're browned up pretty well, we'll pull them out and add the burger patty. While the fries are cooking, I'll make my burger patty so it'll be ready to go. This is 93% lean, 7% fat ground beef, but any kind should work fine. And I'm going to season it the same way with a little bit of salt, kosher salt, and Johnny's seasoned pepper. It's been half an hour and the fries are looking pretty good, so I just pulled them out. Now we'll add the burger patty here. It's all ready to go. Put it right in the center there. And we'll get it back into the oven. My burger was in there 15 minutes. I pulled it out and checked the internal temperature a couple times with my quick read thermometer, and it wasn't quite done yet, so let's see where we're at now. Yeah, we're done now. Beef, you don't have to uh, worry if it's a little bit rare, but you probably want it to about 165 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're good there. All right, let's see how this turned out. I'm not going to use a bun. I just put some ketchup on mustard on top of the burger there. Let's cut into it and see what it looks like in the center. A little bit of pink. That's kind of how I like it. Looks like it came out pretty good. So you grab a bite of that. A little ketchup. Here we go. Came out pretty good. Nothing fancy, but it'll keep you out of the drive throughs <laughs> Annie showed up. I guess we better let her try it. I wonder if she'll take it right off the fork here. <laughs> there. She's eating with the fork. She's got manners now. <laughs> so the cooking time was 30 minutes for the potatoes or the fries, and then another 15 minutes once I added the burger patty. So 45 minutes total. I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.